we take a quote of that to put in the space yeah to kind of for anyone that's kind of looking for lots of art speak to kind of be clear about yeah. why it's not relevant is that alright? yep fabulous So yeah, I'm not. So far away, yeah. Okay, I'm um, Keith Wilson, and I've brought some logs with me to YouTube. Um, so when Helen asked to do something here to connect with the stellies in the park, I thought uh, that in a way the most generous thing you can ever do is just open up to where you are in the studio. In effect, so the connection between the last piece of work and the next piece of work is the artist but it's also the works themselves one work leads to another work being in one factory leads to a set of ideas that come from being in that factory so um, in a way in the in the in the making of the stellies for here this taking the waterway as a starting point I was also at the same time working up in Grisdale Forest um, which has a long yeah So at the same time as working here in the park. <laughs> Nobody needs to hear any of this. <laughs> That's what the gods are telling me. <laughs> Zip it, mate. Um, yeah, so at the same time as, work, as making the stellies for in the park, which kind of follow the course of the river, I was also looking to make a new path up through the forest in Grisdale, up in the Lake District. Uh, where there's a history of artists going out there and what I was determined in the forest was that I wouldn't do anything to do with trees and I wouldn't do any because the history is of all people going into the woods and discovering what to do with sticks and trees and of course I end up wanting to make logs um, but of course the logs I'm making are come from a factory language so when I'm going into the factory which is full of polyethylene blocks and this is a um, a, a, an elastomer skin that gets baked on uh, you're very distant from the context where the work's going to be shown you're very far away from the forest therefore you've got to think what is a tree and you've got to think what is a tree without really wanting to make a tree so these are two efforts at making a tree almost as if you don't know what a tree is from inside a factory that makes something else so they've got rings on the end which make them like marine shipping boys and which connect with the idea of the water um, and maybe transporting logs by water the fact that very unexpectedly logs float well these rather less unexpectedly float they already look like they're going to float and they're in that language of of floats so the the connection between the stellies which are very kind of upright and then the logs is almost to do, is a repetition of the really simple theatre of what's in the film which is that essentially the making of anything by this process is a flat one which can then be up or be down and a tree is generally up except for when it's a log when it's down and so this is going to be a lot of logs which are down leading up to a tarn where one of the logs will be back up again um, I think and so that that story is told a bit in images alongside the first prototype logs and with the logs I wanted to make I, it was great to have the chance to make these two in slightly different languages this is more your sort of chainsaw job and the other one's more textured and more making a fake tree from what you know about tree surface um, what else was I going to talk about? so yeah so the stellies that I put were um, were from really going walkabouts with the park and thinking what you might do with ver um, with various of the existing like I suppose I'm all, I always look to just have a take on existing on what existing materials are there and in waterways you have um, posts which you have mooring posts and you have um, you know various languages of infrastructure to allow the river or the waterway to work and so this was a, this was a way of producing sculptures which could 
serve a purpose. In the same way that when you're walking in the forest, what you really want is a good sized log to sit on to have your lunch, or as it were. So forests are sort of, they're great for deer, but they're not so good for people if you've been walking for a bit. And what you really could do with it is a good sized log. So again, in a way I'm providing a good sized log here and I'm providing a good mooring post there. But also what I'm providing is a sculpture or a series of sculptures that sit within a tradition of sculpture doing a job, which is a very sculptural thing. The history of sculpture is the history of artists being asked to do a job. And here I tend to find a job that I haven't been asked to do and then do it. Um, and that's where the Grisdale logs connect with the Olympic stellies. I liked it. Yeah, that all right? It's a bit of gargle. Yeah. There's something about we want people to kind of get what yeah. there is about it. There's um, I, I, one other thing is is there's a I have a slightly paradoxical relationship to language because I talk a lot, but then I make work that requires nothing to be said. Th these are really simple things. The posts they're in the park are called stellies, simply as a word that doesn't really mean, I mean, there is a history of upright um, calligraphic stones called stellies, but it's really to connect just with the long history of people putting things upright and then that being one part of sculptural language, um, that becoming sculpture in a way. So the less you say about that, the better, because everybody knows what to do in front of an upright one and everyone knows and then you know what to do with an acrossy one. In Grisdale what I'm doing is organising posts, so there'll be ordered posts, and then in effect there'll be scattered logs. And it's just these very, very simple and easily comprehended languages of someone's been here and someone's done this, and someone's done this on purpose. And that's almost where I stop in terms of interpretation. Um, there's recognition, and in that recognition, when you recognise this, that's full of language because it's a log, or it's a bench, or it's a float. So it's a log, it's a float, it's a bench. It might be called something else. But you don't really need... The, the, the words are just things that you're trying to stick to the object, and the object is trying to stick to the words you don't really need to it's it, it's it, it's not my way to do to no it's not quite working um yeah 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 and i suppose i suppose one thing to add about that is just that it isn't it's not it's not about saying that the, the work is dumb, because I think it's very sociable, it's very noisy. It's got too much to say as well. Um, it's just, there isn't, there isn't a role for language between you and the object. The, any language between you and the object is yours. So it's not for me to say what it is. So if I puzzle with what it is, then the replication of that puzzling is just for somebody else to come up and puzzle with what it is. Um, I'm full of my thoughts about them which might because of my training be more um, about sculpture than somebody else's but it, it could easily be, about, be a bench designer or a I mean this is this is a mad log in that the stumps this way point that way and point that way that way it isn't really just from the language of log it's it's a sort of really simplified form of trying to say log with an object so once you've done that you should shut up, which is what I'll do next. <laughs> <laughs> I think we get there. Um, that you said there isn't a role for language. I kind of used to use to get on the phone, but she said something like there isn't a role for language with the object. Any language you want to put on it should be your own. Yeah. That, that I think that's kind of the heart. Yeah.